Today marks the third day since the petition was forwarded to the Speaker's office for the recall of Parliament. Yesterday, 10 MPs wrote to withdraw their signatures with one claiming that his signature was forged. Today, another member of Parliament, Amos Rugolobi, increased the number of those requesting to withdraw their signatures to 11. However, legal experts argue that the rules of procedure in Parliament discourage an MP to withdraw his or her own signature. Clearly, the mandate is stipulated in Article 95, Clause 5 of the Constitution. That is what is required. A third of uh, the population of Parliament put your signatures here and the petition shall go through. That is complete. People should think of uh, certain other things to do. In fact, we had a similar situation during the censure of Jim Wes. Uh, the Honorable Patrick Chigundu was representing Chotera, read a group of 17. They wanted to withdraw signatures. One of them said Jim Wes was his roommate at Makerere. But the speaker then, Honorable James Wapakabo, told them it simply can't happen. You have submitted them, that's end. So far, the lead petitioners who were involved in the collection of signatures have dismissed the allegation of the forgery of signatures. A uh, Honorable Member of Parliament uh, forging the signature of his fellow member of parliament. That one cannot happen. If they really think they made a mistake, let them swallow it. Hmm? If they think they, there's someone behind it, someone pushing them to do so otherwise, let them confide in that person and say, we are sorry, we made a mistake, but we cannot again turn, a, t turn around on, a, on what? Words, you know? Because I did not correct any signature for anybody. I signed by myself. Meanwhile, Parliament's legal team has completed its work analyzing the alleged forgeries and requests to be struck off the petition. They now await the decision of the Speaker of Parliament. Maurice Chol, NTV.